Hey, this is Pliny and this is me and my guitar, which is a Strandberg signature guitar. Um, I guess the story behind it is that I played an Ibanez for about nine or ten years and eventually decided that I would like a new guitar. And at the time I saw Chris Letchford was playing a Strandberg, Tosin Abasi from Animals as Leaders was playing one a bit and Misha from Periphery was playing one and it just looked like can I swear? Fucking amazing. Um, so I thought that's the guitar I need. Um, and then eventually I was on holiday in Berlin going to see a band called Intervals and Aaron from that band was playing a Strandberg at the time. And I talked to him a bit online. So I went to the show, I actually missed his set because I was late, which is pretty much in character for me. Um, but then we met up afterwards and I got to play his guitar and after just holding it and kind of feeling it, I was like, this is the most comfortable guitar of all time and I need one even more than ever. So I got in touch with Ola Strandberg who started the company and basically told him that I am the best guitarist of all time and we need to work together to skip the waiting, the waiting line because at the time they were only making them by hand pretty much in his garage. Um, but luckily that was at exactly the same time that he was transitioning from making them himself to having production models. So I got a hold of a six string production model and that's pretty much all I've played since. Um, we did a signature guitar in 2015, which was kind of paired with a signature guitar for Paul Masvidal from Cynic. Uh, mine was a fixed bridge and his had a tremolo arm. Um, and we were touring Japan and Ola Strandberg was there and we did this sort of like uh, promo event for the guitars and at pretty much the same time me and Paul were just looking at each other like I kind of want one with a whammy bar and he was like I kind of want one with a fixed bridge and so I had my inlay and he had his inlay and Ola just got a screwdriver and just was like no worries and sort of Frankensteined it and then so that's how I got sort of like the prototype for what this guitar came from um, which is the current it feels weird as fuck saying Pliny signature guitar. And I guess it's the me signature guitar, um, which is based pretty much on the regular six string Bowden model. Uh, it's got an ash body, a maple top, and then a Australian blackwood veneer on top, which probably annoys uh, sort of guitar collector purists because it's not a big chunk of wood. It's just like a little skin, but I really like that because you can make a lot of pretty tops from one tree and then our children will still have nice forests to play in. Um, and it's got Sir pickups, the SSH Plus and SSV. Um, I'm not really a gear guy, but I went to the house of the guy that runs the Strandberg operation for the States, and he has about 20 different models all with different pickups, and I just sat there for a day playing through everything until I sort of came across these pickups being my favorite, so that's why they're there. Um, um, I guess the reason I landed on these pickups as well is that the guitar is such a sort of futuristic version of what an electric guitar can be and these pickups are really like just the best version of vintage pickups. So I like the fact that it was kind of blending the two different worlds in a way that you can make this sound like a classic guitar even though it looks like it just landed from space. In terms of controls, it's sort of like a stripped down version of the standard five-way switch and two knobs. Um, I got rid of the tone knob because on a tour in North America, uh, it was the only tour I've had a guitar tech because we were sharing it with another band and he would tune the guitars with the tone knob rolled off because uh, it works better in sort of like a vibration -y, that's not a word, v vibrous, also not a word, environment. So he'd tune it with the tone knob off and then sometimes give it to me still with the tone knob off. And I'd get on stage and just start playing and then two songs later I'd be like, this sounds horrible, this is why. So I just got rid of it so I could never make that mistake again. Um, sort of similar situation with the pickups. I found that I was only ever really using um, the two humbuckers and then one of the two positions that sort of split the coils. Um, and the rest of the time I'd just be fumbling around in the wrong position. So I turned it into just a three-way position and this middle one is just these two coils. Uh, which gets like a sort of stratty sort of sound, which is super cool. Um, whammy bar, that's kind of it. And that is my guitar.